So Windy City on the road in White, Fort Wayne at home in Navy, and the NBA G League is back in Fort Wayne. And a productive opening possession for the Bulls, it's Scotty Lindsay. There's Washington to tie it up. You know, guys will be able to run their sets and get where they need to be. But as you see, attacking. Two-time Ohio Valley Conference Player of the Year at Austin P. A professional rookie, and he banks it in. Shoulder shrug. Why not? All-time leading scorer here in Fort Wayne Madden's history. Jersey hanging up in the rafters. And now it's Taylor going to work inside. Tough-minded uh, on both ends of the floor. Hard-working guys, as all of us Chicago guys are. <laughs> so uh, just great to have Kiefer uh, down here in Fort Wayne with us. G League season officially tipped off last night and now in full swing. There was Dotson in attack mode to no good, but Oturu cleans it up. Side out here for Justin Anderson. He's another one of those guys who, who fits that mold of someone who brings some seasoning here to Fort Wayne. Taylor's got seven in his first quarter as a pro. Uh, it's working out extremely well. Uh, those, both those guys are versatile. Uh, so I look to see them do a, a lot more of that. Seven-footer. High off the window, no good for Washington, but no trouble. Taylor there. He's a guy who, at Austin P in college, scored more than 2,000 career points, but certainly Oturu shows his range. And it's taken away. Thompson had the steal. Dotson the finish. Timeout, Matt Ants. The impact that sports had when we didn't have them. Really well put there, Rachel. Thanks so much. Glad to have Rachel back with us on our crew this year. Looking forward to it. Glad to have all of you with us tuned in here this season. Game number one of 50. Fort Wayne in transition. And a layup for Keeper Sykes. Son of a former Mr. Basketball in Indiana. And the offer name continues to carry a lot of weight, especially here in Northeast Indiana. Bryce's brother, Corey, coaching at Huntington University. Sykes drills a triple. And here's another former Houston Cougar. It's Deshaun Giroux throwing it up to the rim. Giroux, the leaner. And the teams with the best winning percentage in each regional pod, as well as the teams with the next best winning percentages, the four next best across the league will go on to play in the Showcase Cup. The league is finding unique ways to uh, you know, just make things more competitive, uh, more exciting uh, for not only the players, but for the fans as well. And entertaining for the fans here in Fort Wayne to see Steven Domingo knock down that basket. Domingo, 26-year-old, who was acquired by the Ants from the Lakeland Magic. Alford's pass goes into the corner. It's Ethan Thompson. He kicks. Alford tees it up and connects. Just controlling the tempo. Uh, you know, he's playing at a nice pace. Uh, and it's been infectious for the Bulls. Great three there uh, by Justin Anderson. Under Kelvin Sampson at Houston. Simonovic, a pretty time from Alford. You know, Alford certainly has the reputation for being a sniper as an outside shooter. I know he's focused on it and sharpening the tools of his game as a point guard here. Did it on the other end, but meanwhile, for the Ants, there's Hinton inside. Shot clock. Under 10 for Justin Anderson. Give and go. No whistle, but a bucket. Uh, great spirit, uh, great team guy. 
Uh, just another one of those guys you root for. Bulls fans looking forward to rooting for Simonovic. Being a professional basketball player, how much time you have to put in and the sacrifice that makes. So uh, it's just great to see uh, just the work these guys do all over the world, man, uh, from nonprofit work to. By the way, for Anderson, the talents for him extend beyond the court, maybe even into the front office. A couple weekends ago, Justin Anderson was actually in the so-called war room along with general manager Chris Taylor and company. Just wanted to have a chance to observe that side of the business of basketball. A lot of the community involvement initiatives for this Ants organization. There's Sykes laying it in. Ants doubles Simonovic. Nice dish. And it's Oturu who throws it down. Quick double team there. No one else knew about it. Gave up a wide open shot, but on the other end, Benny knocks down a three. Showed off the jumper. There's Dotson all the way to the cup. Ron, how was it during this time preparing for this season? Um, it was it was different for sure. Um, but what I will say is that uh, we have great leadership. Just kind of you know just sulking in this, but helping us get closer uh, as an organization. That's really awesome to hear. Taylor on the offensive glass, and he banks it in. Even during the bubble season, uh, you know, we had a lot of meetings. And again, you know, when you're working, you kind of just work. Uh, but during this time, we got to know each other, kind of talk. Here in the G League, after they, they did not participate in the bubble. Hey. Speaking of defense, Steven Domingo. Try to showcase themselves for the next level. No, no doubt about it. I'm telling you, these guys, you understand, you know, what it's going to take to get you to that next to that next level. Triggers it in, gets it back. Off the mark, Justin Anderson, the board. Jerome. Dotson with a burst. And the corner three goes down for Baxter. Dwayne Washington, a little splash. Dwayne Jr. was born. There's Taylor with two more. Loose ball. And it's Boltwright who has it for the ends. Numbers for Fort Wayne. And it's Washington who throws it down. They've got five points back quickly as Washington throws it down. After the Windy City timeout. Nothing doing for the Bulls. Here's Boatwright, and he bangs it down. So the Ants have jumped in front. And now we're tied up, Ethan Thompson. Uh, and they had to make a tough shot. If you can defend that way and force teams to make tough shots every time on you, you're in good shape. Isolation for Washington against Alford. Going to work. And one. You know, him seeing it, you know, he can take off a one on one, attacking the basket, filling that contact. Offensive rebound. Who else? Taylor. Anderson. Good. Hints it on the drive, the pivot, and the bucket. Under Rick Carlisle, who now is the Pacers head coach. Some familiarity with the system as Lindsey drills a triple. Taylor back to the basket. Finds Hinton in the corner. That's good. Fort Wayne was down by six at halftime. Now up by ten, trying to add to the lead. And Washington does. A deep three. Skip pass. And a three goes for Troy Baxter. Uh, these guys are going to be extremely difficult to score on. There's Hinton on the attack. 
brief, less than two week training camp, but it does seem like this Fort Wayne team has a strong defensive look, but right now the offense is rolling too. Oh, Turu muscles it in. Morning against Windy City after the basket. Here's a handful down low. 340 left, third quarter. Opening game for both teams. First home game for the Mad Ants. Oturu doesn't put it in on the first try, got it back. Still with it. Good. Plus one. Devon Dotson, the Bulls' two way guard. And there it's the Bulls as signee, Marco Simonovic. And at the end of the game, if you count all those up, it could be the difference. No doubt. Oh, a miraculous shot. The shot clock expiring. He wanted a foul, didn't get it. There, it's an easy two for Taylor. Dotson explodes to the rim. Kind of getting Terry to relax, and then as you talked about, just exploded to the basket for that finish. Juro, a Euro step into the lane. Good for two. About a 10 second difference between the shot and game clock. See if the Bulls try to get a two for one. Taps it on the pick and roll, lays it off for Simonovic. Devon Dotson banks it in. Dotson finds Bryce Alford, shot fake, penetrates. And it's Dotson who sticks it from the foul line. Sykes, step back. Got it. Keeper. Taylor finds Sykes again. Deep three. Book it. But yeah, you're right. Taylor already here in his Matt Ants debut has shown that he's the type of player who just makes winning plays. And rebounded by Lindsey. Alford, pull up three. And Windy City back in front. An assassin from behind the arc. Former UCLA Bruin under his dash. I think the level of play here for a first game of the season has been really impressive. First Mad Ants true home game in more than 600 days. Washington, good. I was going to say, the crowd got taken out of it a little bit there with a lull. Oturu. So strong. Boat right off balance. Good. Turnover. Washington outlets to Sykes. Corner kick, extra pass, back into the corner. Good, Nate Hinton. And Ron, I know you can attest that certainly it's that mentality it takes a village for any of these guys to have the success that they have accomplished. Tucker fouled on a three. It's good off the glass. But the lead stays at two. Jero, the leader, tied up. Alford driving, try to scoop it in. Oturu, tenacious, the putback. Fort Wayne in the half court. Pick and roll, Taylor, second chance. Missed the bunny, Ants in transition. Hinton for three. Good. Fort Wayne in front again. Place was ready to erupt. It was. Skip pass. Thompson. Loose ball. It's Hinton. Now Sykes launching. And he connects. Keeper Sykes.
stretches the lead to four. Both teams have really excelled from long range tonight. For Domer Stan tonight, his head coaching debut. Maybe that's what they wanted the and, first time. And that's why, if you're the Mad Ants, you did not want. Washington with the take. Taylor hustles after the loose ball. And puts it in. I mean, just so fun to watch, man. Just not giving up on the play. Keeper causing a turnover there. More hustle. And it's Sykes who lays it in. Indy City, let's take another look at that last sequence. Maybe cliche, but there are a number of guys on this Mad Ants team who have that, that blue collar kind of mentality. Season number 15 for the Mad Ants. And on opening night.